Hello, this is Analysis Pro, representatives of Naxport and ClipDraw video analysis software for the UK and Ireland. So recently we have been creating a few videos, um, in particular for the uh, new football users as the football user database grows. So we just wanted to create um, a video today showing a few processes following on from the videos in previous weeks. Now on those previous weeks, we did code using our buttons template, so coding the video manually, but if you are lucky enough to have access to external sources, Naxport is synergetic with that. So for example, Naxport users get discount packages with Instat, and from the main menu here, you can go to tools, you can go to import, and you can go to Instat XML. And what this will do is allow you to sync the XML from Instat with the video and then you don't have to code you've got the data there so let me show you what that looks like so if I open up my database here here all of this I haven't coded it's just imported from Instat itself and I can go through and review those but what I want to focus on today is creating a presentation so the presentations themselves are as we explained last week, using this icon here to load up. So create a new presentation and then you create your list. So just say, for example, we were doing some opposition analysis of Watford shots here and Watford corners. So just say we were picking these out. So again, you can press C, you can color code these as you wish. And then it's time to populate these um, these lists with some shots and some corners. So here you could be reviewing the shots and say, yeah, okay, I want that one in. So you make sure you're selected on the shots in the presentation and you press three on that shot and that shot will populate up. You can use the number two to skip to the second shot, press three, use number two again for the third shot and press three. So we've got these three shots now that we can analyze. When it comes to corners, you might want all the corners in, Watford corner attacks, press three, and all the corners will go up. So we've got three clips now that we can focus on, we can present to players and coaches. Now, from here, you can do some other things as well. So last week we did look at the graphic descriptor and the colors but when you are coding them, so the descriptor will override the category. So if we go to Watford shots here, we can see that you've got um, two shots that I can see here because my descriptor has given me the color that were from open play and on target. And you've got another shot here, which um, was from the free kick. So that was blocked. So we can actually see where the shots are coming from because we're coding with our graphic descriptor. And we can add this to our presentation. And it's as simple as pressing export as a picture to the presentation. You'll see that go in. So now when we play the um, the presentation on shots we can press play here and it will show me where the shots happened and then we'll go on and actually play the shots so a really handy easy tool to use you can do similar things with corners as well if you wish now from here you might want to add further information to each clip so let's uh, click on one of the shots and you double click and you can make the clip longer if you want to um, shorter you can add any notes that you want to here, add any more descriptors if you feel you want to, and then you can then start adding some drawings. So let's see um, what's gonna happen, wait for the camera to zoom out. So let's say we want to make some drawings on this free kick. You can open clip draw from within the presentation environment here, and then you can start adding um, some telestrations to these key clips. So um, just for an example, you can add your arrows, you can add some spotlights, you can add something perhaps with, with the shape. You can change any colors that you want to as well. Um, you can look at some space. You can use a, a player moving tool too. So if you look at this route simulator here, you can select the player and you can actually make a new path for that player to go. You can save those, you can set the timings where the clips will go on to the video clip and you save that onto the video. 
So that will render itself onto the video clip and then you are ready then to export as an MP4 or present from within the software to your players and coaches. Thank you very much for watching.